Well, thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Dr. Kendall Lee. I'm a neurosurgeon and the director of Mayo Neuroengineering Laboratories. Today, I have with us Professor Kevin Bennett, who is also the chair of Division of Engineering as well as the co-director of the Neuroengineering Laboratories. Professor Bennett, can you please tell us a little bit about Division of Engineering? Certainly, I'd be delighted to. Thank you for, uh, for speaking with me today. Um, the Division of Engineering has been around since about 1915, and so we're an embedded engineering group within the Mayo Clinic, and that's very un unusual to have a group of engineers that are able to um, be a part of the research, be a part of medical care um, within the Mayo Clinic. Mm -hmm. And you've been working with us now in the neuroengineering laboratories. What work have you been doing in the neuroengineering? It's been a, a very uh, large variety of work, which has been, been very, uh, very gratifying in that uh, we have been working in terms of developing new um, electronic circuits for deep brain stimulation. We've been uh, developing new uh, software and integrated circuits for the development of measurement of neurotransmitters and specialized electrodes that would be used um, in patient care for the measurement of neurotransmitters long term. So the specialized electrodes, can you explain about that a little bit? Certainly, I'd be delighted to. Uh, the electrode is one in which um, would it be implanted into the brain with the neural stimulation electrode that keeps track of the neurotransmitters that are being released. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about it is that we had anticipated that we would use an older technology that was well known, um, but what we discovered is actually the, uh, the technology didn't last long enough. Mm -hmm. And so we did an analysis of the situation and came up with the idea that we needed to use diamond. Diamond is the sensors. And so we, we are now growing diamonds uh, in the basement of the Medical Sciences Building uh, for use as, as <laughs> so, neurotransmitters. So, you know, I'm sure our listeners are <laughs> wondering, diamonds in healthcare, how or why did you even think about diamonds? Well, um, it's basically back from the engineering principles and that we understood uh, what, what needed to be done. And in terms of looking at the materials to be used, um, it became very apparent that all other materials were not going to work. Mm -hmm. And so diamond was the best hope. Mm -hmm. And so in terms of developing and doing the measurements, we discovered that cre by creating a, an electrically conductive diamond, we could effectively make the, the electrodes function. Now, you know the National Institute of Health is also very interested about this diamond. Can you tell our audience about the recent grant that you have obtained, the Brain Initiative grant, the U01 grant? Uh, the U01 grant is, is a, a delightful opportunity to extend the technology, and this is a grant that uh, we developed in conjunction with uh, the researchers, the scientists, the MDs, the PhDs, um, because it really is a collaborative effort that makes these uh, opportunities possible. And so um, quite a number of the members of the Division of Engineering and the Neural Engineering Laboratory are working very closely together to make these sensing and uh, sensing systems a success. So you, you talked about team, Teamworks. Um, can you tell us who else is involved in the Brain Initiative grant, as well as how have you been able to um, organize such a large team? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's been an interesting process in that uh, actually when we first started our collaboration a number of years ago, it was really the development of that, uh, that future plan. Uh, what sort of people that we needed, what sort of outcome uh, did, we, did we want to create. And by developing that and growing that over the years, we have elected and selected the right team to mm -hmm. work together, and that team is actually really quite large, mm -hmm. and approximately probably 50 people mm -hmm. or so that have been involved in that development. And in fact, that goes outside of Mayo, including Dr. Dong Pyo Jang at Hanyang University in yeah. South Korea, as yeah. well as Dr. Felicia Manchu and University of Texas at El Paso. Exactly. Yeah. And so what we're, we're doing is that as we identify needs, we look for experts any place in the world uh, that would be necessary to work with us to develop this, uh, this application for, for patients. Professor Bennett, that's very exciting about diamonds, but I know that you're also working on spinal cord stimulation and limb reanimation. Mm -hmm. could, could you talk about that a little bit? Yes. Well, well this is an... an, an an ideal example of how the development of technology in one aspect of healthcare can be used in, in other aspects. And basically the same techniques, the same basic um, understanding of neural circuits extend to the spinal cord because in effect the spinal cord is an extension of brain. 
And so by using the devices for stimulation, the devices for measurement of neurotransmitters, um, we're able to utilize this for the research and development for, as we're calling it, the limb reanimation, reinserting the information for movement back into the spinal cord. Okay. Again, my name is Dr. Kendall Lee. I'm with Professor Kevin Bennett. Thank you very much for joining us today.